I am. Um, I wanted to come back and show you what I did. These are, I I believe, to be the majority of the pictures for Valentine's Day. It's like six o'clock in the morning, so I'm trying not to wake anybody up. <laughs> okay, so I added a bunch of all the pictures and kind of arranged it in a way and um, and I left like a little bar up here that I can use that space as um, a title I could um, I think what I'm gonna do is just even take this out um, you just have to do that. There we go. Oh, cool. Okay. Anyway, so, and then I'm going to show you what I meant by using the transparent background to pull it into Photoshop and add your own flare. Um, so you go to save and save to my computer. Okay, and I already have it saved um, somewhere. And this is kind of where I I went with it, um, but I want to show you how to get there. Okay, open and finder. Okay, here it is. So here's the one I just downloaded. Right click. It's still deciding. Okay. Open with Photoshop. Okay. So you see how the background is um, the the gray and white boxes. That means that it's transparent, and you anything that you drop behind it in the layers palette will show up as your background. So. Um, I'm changing the image size because um, I cropped it in a little bit to make room for, um, well, cancel, I'm going to do it with the canvas size. I made a, a little room for the title. Okay, no pixels, just because I have that number running around my head already. This is the size we want for our pages, by the way, if you need the pic pixel count. Okay. And these a little smaller to make room for um, in the, the print bleed and everything. Probably leave like a good quarter to half an inch on all sides. Okay. And I'm just going to put this down like this so that we can have room for a title. And then select, deselect. Okay. Now, I already have a background I like open. And so we do that thing where you take, select the move tool, select the picture, and click and hold and drag it over. Okay, so this one covered up the pictures, and that's because it's on top of it in the layers palette. We want it behind. And I'll hold down shift, and I just want, I want to see more there. More of the uh, feathers, because they're kind of cool looking. 
And then, um, to me that looked still too white and not, um, <laughs> and not, um, finished enough. So I, I'm going to add another blank layer and I'm just gonna grab this color by hitting option and clicking. And I'm just gonna paint tiny bit on the edges here. And then come back with the eraser and kinda, I don't want it to look too blurry, but yeah. See, I think that looks a little more like a fuzzy memory. <laughs> okay, and then to do a title, you select the T, the text type tool, horizontal type tool, yeah. And then you just click up here. Of course, you can choose a bunch of, um, from a bunch of fonts here. Do we want it Valentine's Day or another cutesy name? You see I'm selecting the color of the font and the size here. It's probably going to be like 150. Yeah. So it's like, I want this. <sighs> yeah, so there's a page. It's about as complicated as I'm going to get. Um, of course, you can use like some clip art if you want, or um, anything. Um, but for now, that's what we've got. <laughs>